Hi nice to have you back. Let's continue on our journey. This will be fun. In today's part we are going to add hairs, shoes, and some more to our base model. We also have to fix the head a little bit, as you maybe can see already it is not fitting the body very well. Hold middle mouse button to circle around. We are going to click the head mesh, so we can move it. After clicking the head mesh we press G to move it. You can see the keybinds I use in the bottom left corner, but I will not use any keybinds without telling you as well. After pressing G, you are able to lock the axis you want to move on by pressing it on the keyboard. The locked axis will show up in color in the background so you can see it. I am now locking the axis and trying to fit the head better on the base model. It should not be too hard. After fixing the mesh position we have to fix the bones that are attached to us well. Just use the overlay function if you cannot see the bones like me. Make sure to click the armature so the bones are highlighted in orange. Click left side and enter edit mode to edit the bones. Click the bones names eyes. You can see the names of clicked bones on the left top side. Move them just a little bit like we did with the head. Remember to lock the Z axis after pressing G to move. Leave edit mode by changing back to object mode in the top left corner. Hide the bones again if you want. Next I did import a hair asset. Check under the video for the links of the assets used in the video if you want, as you can see the hair asset is way too big. We can scale it down by pressing S and just dragging the mouse downwards. I am just fixing the models first. Fixing the models is always important and I think you cannot fix the models enough. Haha. <laughs> Scaling it down by pressing S and dragging the mouse downwards. You could also scale it up by dragging the mouse upwards. Always make sure to make changes on the whole armature and not only on the mesh as you can see on the right side. Keep doing this until you think it looks fine on the head. After this we have to merge the armatures again to have the hair weight painted to the bones of the head. Just making the bones visible again via the overlay and by clicking enter play mode we can move the bones to see if the armature merging is fine. While in play mode just click bones and rotate them by pressing R then move the axis wheel. Leave play mode on the same button as entering play mode. Next we import a dress. I found a very nice one for free on Gumroad. Check the links under the video if you want to. As you can see on the right side it comes without an armature. This is perfect to show you another method to attach meshes to your base model. I'm just making sure I like the placing and the height of the dress. We don't need to adjust it here so click the mesh and then right lower side there is a green triangle. It is called, Object Data Properties. If the mesh would already have vertex groups attached to it you would be able to see them here. If so click the minus button until all are gone or click the drop down arrow button and click delete all. This dress does not have any vertex groups attached to it so when don't need to delete anything here. Next we click the small wrench icon. It is called, modifier properties. Here we want to click on add modifier. Now select data transfer on the left side of the drop down menu. Click it. Haha. <laughs> we now click on that symbol my text to speech can definitely not handle. With this we can then click directly on a mesh we want to be the source of the weight painting. In this case this will be body mesh of our base model. As far as I now you can click it anywhere you can see the correct name. After clicking on the body mesh you click the drop down arrow next to, vertex data. Don't forget to click the check mark next to, vertex data as well. After that it is important to click on, generate data layers, and finally finish this part with the drop down arrow and clicking, apply. We then click the mesh in the upper right part and drag it on the armature while holding shift. This links it to the armature inside the hierarchy of our model. After that we click fix model once more. Check the play mode if the weight painting did work. Looks fine to me on a quick look.
The next tool we want to use is the sculpting tool. You can find it on the top left side of the screen. You have to select a mesh first by clicking on it. After clicking on the sculpting tool we will see different functions of the tool. For the sake of this series we will keep it simple. Click on the draw tool and then adjust the strength and the radius of the drawing tool in the top left side of the screen. After adjusting that to you likings I want to activate the butterfly tool. It's a very handy tool. When I activate the X axis it will mirror my mesh drawing so it will look better and is not that much work. Keep in mind to only use that if you need to draw symmetrical on both sides. You can find it in the top right side of the screen. Now we just have to draw the mesh where it is lying underneath the body mesh. That looks pretty simple and is something you will want to get a little bit of a feeling for it. Trust me it is not that hard. Keep in mind to adjust the radius and the strength if you have to. The next tool I really like to use is the grab tool. Select it on the left side of the screen. You can find it in the yellow section. With this we will fix that dress a little bit on the edges. I will finish this and we will head on to the next thing. If you fuck up like I do here keep in mind to press control Z to go back one step. You can do that multiple times. Editing happy here. Hi. I did add my coffee link under the video. Making this series means work to me so maybe it means to you to buy me a coffee. I don't know. Haha. <laughs> Let's continue. I really want to fix that bikini clipping through the dress. To do that I click the mesh on the right side and enter edit mode on the left side. Then I just adjust the little points my text to speech cannot say and we should be fine. You can edit all sorts of meshes that way. Just play around with it if you feel to. Turn on and off the visibility of meshes by clicking the eye icon on the left right side of each mesh. The left right side. Yeah. I mean the right side. Sorry. Makes it more easy to see what we have underneath. Once we got this nice I want to hide the straps of the bikini as well. To do so we click the mesh again, then sculpt it. This time I use the draw sharp tool. It's the second blue one. After some back and forth I decided to just paint the dress over it. Haha. <laughs> I will just let that play for you for a moment so you can see even for me it's a little bit of trial and error evolved every time. Note how I keep adjusting the strength and radius settings. To quickly switch between meshes while editing them click the little dot next to the mesh while in edit mode. After the dress I did import a pair of shoes. As always the link is under the video. The shoes were made for that model. You can make them fit on a lot of model but in this case it takes a lot of work from us. Stuff we already learnt like the mesh editing and the sculpting. If you want to separate the shoes use the same method as we used on the eyes in the end of part 1. 
remember to always after importing to fix the model and after merging the armatures to fix the model again. A lot of times when I mess up I made the mistake to forget about fixing the model. After merging I test the shoes in play mode. Looks fine to me. With this we are going to wrap up the second part of that series. If you have any suggestions, questions, or want to see something added let me know in the comments. If you are quick enough I can add it to the series. If not I am sure I will try to help you solve it out in the comments section or in another video. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. Have a great time. In the next part we will clean up the Blender project and get ready to import it to Unity. This gonna be fun. Let's go.